I think one thing that really drew me to this program as a fellow and one of the things that I'm proudest of as fellowship program director is the real specialized learning that you get in this training program. So a lot of other places have a combined division of pediatric hematology and oncology, which is fine, but here we have a distinct division of pediatric hematology and a separate division of pediatric oncology. And so when you're on service on a pediatric hematology team, you're only learning hematology from hematologists. And when you're on a transplant team, you're only learning transplant from transplant doctors. And so you're able to really be learning from the experts right from day one. Our Pediatric Hematology and Oncology Fellowship is a joint training program between Hopkins and the NIH. We take six fellows a year for a three-year program, um, and the majority of our fellows will stay on for an optional fourth year that's an um, available option for all of our fellows. Uh, the first year is a clinical year um, where rotations are done both here at Johns Hopkins and at the NIH. Um, in both pediatric oncology and pediatric hematology. And then the second and third year are really protected research years with a minimal amount of clinical obligations. We really have the best of both worlds here because we have a children's hospital where everyone in this building is dedicated to treating children, but we're also on this big campus of the Johns Hopkins Hospital, and so we're able to easily collaborate with our adult colleagues. And so we can do that clinically for patients that we only may maybe see rarely here in pediatrics, but our adult colleagues see quite frequently. And we can also collaborate from a research standpoint as well, including our fellows are able to do research in the adult labs and with the adult clinical researchers and have them be part of their scholarly oversight committee as well.